Hi guys, welcome again. Uh, this time we'll be focusing on how to maximize your score as Alexandria. Um, I've got some questions, uh, especially after the video with um, Olympia, if I could show Alexandria and I'm happy to oblige. But first, let me tell you that Alexandria is my worst wonder in four player um, and by quite a lot. But while it's my worst wonder, I do get some wins with it. I do get some pushes with it as well. Um, maybe this game will be an example of that. Mm, and I want to talk about Alexandria first a little bit. So let me let me introduce you, reintroduce you to the new Alexandria. So first we've got the A side. The first stage uh, is quite bad um, compared to the other because it's it's free stone, but it's not. It's not super bad. It's like you need stone. That's probably not exactly what you, would you want, but that's okay. Then we have the second one, which is pretty good. Uh, maybe not like super good for a second stage. Usually th those are worth five points um, or more sometimes. Um, but but this is generally decent. The problem uh, a little lies with the third stage, which is very good, but. Um, you generally don't want to build two gray cards unless you are green, and if you are green, you do not need the second stage. Um, also, the second stage gets you resources that you do not need for the third stage. So this is a little bit like uncoordinated, I would say, and that's why uh, it's hard to usually get value out of Alexandra A. But um, there are situations where you can do that. For example, if you expect that you will get past the marketplace, the thing that gets you cheaper gray cards, and you expect both your opponents to build them. This is kinda a game like this, but not really. <laughs> uh, so I decided here to go for B, so, so or the knight side, if you will. So let's talk about knight side a little bit. Uh, so the first stage is amazing, um, and that's it, basically. The third, the second stage is terrible. Uh, the cost is super high, and the value is not that great. So, so that's the main issue with Alexandria here. The for, sorry, the final stage. Let's call it that. Um, it's fine, but it's very costly. Um, you will be often forced to uh, buy double wood, but in this game. We have Babylon next to us, and Babylon starts with wood. So that's as good as it gets for the third and final stage. Uh, that's the main reason why I'm picking uh, Alexandria Knight here. Mm, and there are two ways, I would say, to play Alexandria. First is to uh, go all in on uh, green. And that's fine, it can wo work with any wonder. It's a little easier for you to go uh, all green than, for example, Colossus, just because you start with the battle. Uh, but you are one of the worst wonders going for green. Um, and I really mean one of the worst, probably the worst wonder when going for green. And there are two issues here. First, um, you do not have any like support for the green except for the starting battle. Um, if we take a look at Babylon here, on both sides it has uh, the, um, the wild token. Halicarnassus can build from the discard, um, and it has a very powerful first, first stage that gives you something. Rhodos uh, can transition into red-green just because it has red support. Giza has a lot of points. Uh, Olympia has cheats for, um, for resources. You, you already get nothing here. Uh, like, those first two stages on both sides are terrible. So, um, going green is very risky. It can pay off and, you know, sometimes it, it can do, do well. Uh, but, it, but keep in mind that it's very, very risky. Like, you are the worst wonder for going green out in the base game, I would say. Um, the next strategy is going for red. Uh, and that is quite good on the B side, just because you have natural support of clay, um, ore, and wood. And those are the resources that you generally need for uh, red cards in the second age, and in the first one as well. So, um, I hope this was not too boring of an explanation. Let's go through the game. 
Uh, okay, so first um, we get um, what 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 is our strategic situation? We we have to think about that. Uh, in this game, um, Halicarnassus usually wants at least green support. Babylon wants at least green support, so there is no place for me to be in green here. Um, Unless I just want to splash something, which is a possibility, but this is not a force green game, probably. And I'm across Colossus, which means that red naturally looks very good. So here I'm just picking Claypool because it's needed for my first stage, and also um, I need it for red cards. So I'm pretty happy, actually, with, with Claypool here. That, that's not a bad pickup by any means here. I'm without the duel, so, so that's okay. Here I'm continuing my strategy, I'm picking Orvain. Uh, I already see that I'm able to pick both second clay and third or second um, ore, so that's good. So uh, with that Orvain I I'm set for my first two stages. Unfortunately he goes into a bit of the red, he goes into heavy green, which is not bad. I, uh, I often say that it's better to have the green guy to your uh, left than to your right, just because he will pass you cards in the third age and he wants different cards than you, so you get mod more good picks. Uh, here, this is tricky, I can either go Lumber or Guard Tower, I think I went Lumber here, uh, just because he already has two wood, so with a Lumber pickup I'm able to finish my Wonder now. But Guard Tower is, is a possibility here. And I chose that possibility. I think that's a small mistake. Uh, but here I, I get Lumber anyway, uh, unless I went for Altar. I think I went, went Altar. I don't remember that game that well, guys. But both both options are, are a possibility. Uh, here I went Barracks, just to, to cement my, my red. And um, again, two possibilities here. I can just Pawn Shop or I can finish my Wonder Stage. I decided to go for pawn shop uh, just because I like the best course of action for me is still picking up caravanserai. Um, let me show you caravanserai in a second if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, one of the best cards for heavy resource wonder, and we are actually a heavy resource wonder uh, with the night sight in the new edition. So I'm still like there is. There is a small chance that I will be able to pick it up, but there is a chance nonetheless. Uh, Rodos decided to... Rodos here played for, for A. Uh, I guess the reason for that is to have more places to hide green cards, which is strategically not a bad idea, but the execution often lacks. Um, and we have just green Halley and red Babylon. And that's okay. You, you'll get a lot of weird things like that. Uh, so here, really a hand where you can do a lot of stuff. So first of all, you might want to hide school if you want to play against Halicarnassus, but Halicarnassus is already on four resource cards, and it looks like it might even pick some more. Um, so right now it doesn't look that scary, what is probably more scary is losing red against it. You can try to pick Quarry here to potentially wheel Walls or Aqueduct, but I would argue why are you wheeling Walls or Aqueduct if you can just play Stables from the hand? And I think that's, that's the pick here. Unfortunately, the red um, streak here continues. I thought I'll just get out of red here. Like, Babylon, if it wants, it can really play a lot of red. So I didn't think going into red war here is a huge possibility. So for me, in this position, um, when, when you are like that, when there is already archery range taken uh, that he can play, there is already stables taken. He's also next to Colossus. That looks that he is able to finish his wonder. So I think this guy has no intention of going red. And my plan is just to stay on four. Um, just to win red against um, Halicarnassus twice. Here I'm hiding the dispensary. 
maybe I could look into quarry as well. Uh, but I think given I, I think I make a mistake here and I play the quarry. Um it, it's fine, but but you know, like that hand coming back to me, I might I might want to pick pick walls anyway. So it's close. Uh, it's either quarry or, or hide dispensary, I think. Okay, and let me tell you about this particular setup. So, I have four brown cards, and I will be picking both stages here. So that would mean six cards for resources. So generally, I'm out. Like, uh, I shouldn't play anymore unless I have some amazing scoring opportunities. This setup works really, really nice. Uh, it can also be something else. For example, instead of double stone, you can probably skip a lot of stone here. You can have like an additional dual or something. And this setup is pretty nice. The reason why it's nice is that it's very good for uh, magistrates. Usually, uh, you are able to buy it pretty cheap, so you can kind of avoid green uh, blues and give them to, to your neighbors. Uh, that's one thing that you are usually able to build, and not of not a lot of other players are able to build it cheap. Uh, the next one that it's even better for is ship owners. With your like with your stages, you are generally very easy for you to build. You usually don't need to pay more than two for it, um, and it's at least five here, and you will be able to pick more uh, guilds down the line. This is also a possibility. You have a battle for, for the builders, so, so that's something that you should look for. Uh, that's where a double stone comes, for example. So this is usually a pretty uh, cheap pickup for you as well. Uh, decorators is also uh, pretty easy for you. Um, there is a possibility of uh, philosophers, although this is the one of the hardest, just because you don't do not have uh, the grace for it. Spice is uh, usually also very easy for you. Uh, traders is a possibility usually for you. So so there is, you kind of have a, a chance to to use all the guilds, even workers here. Uh, it's not that bad with uh, with Alexandria with the with the brown push. So generally you are well equipped to to do well on guilds. Uh, that's where your most of your wins will come from, in my opinion. So here I can either hide library or, or build statue, and I thought that I have to hide the library. Not a lot of stuff that I'm excited here about, so I thought that I will just finish my... try to finish my wonder stages. The, the hiding here doesn't matter that much. Here I actually will the Aqueduct, which I'm, I'm very happy about. I think it was either Aqueduct comes back to me or Walls, so, so I was kind of okay with both. And on the final hand, I just get the Sawmill. This will be my seventh card for uh, resources, which is pretty bad. Um, but I'm choosing Sawmill over Loom uh, because of the Haven. There are two Havens in, in four player, so I can play for, for a good Haven. Uh, it's free for me anyway, so, so that's, that's quite good. So I'm winning one red, losing one red. Uh, this guy has five cards for green, but I would say six cards for resources. So that means that he's not that scary yet. Uh, I'm starting with a reasonable guild, craftsman guild. Uh, that's okay. On the wheel, I, I do not have much, to be honest. Mm, I am able to play a red, uh, any, any red that comes, but... I do not think that I have a possibility of winning red against this uh, Babylon just because it has um, double push at the end. So it will probably play some red anyway. I'm probably going for Lighthouse still. Uh, that's that's about it. Uh, 
or a wonder stitch. So here I get decorators, which is pretty nice. Um, there is also a possibility of Haven. This is the last Haven, but I do not think other people will be interested in Haven. Uh, so my plan is to steal decorators here and um, on the wheel, I probably get either workers, town hall or Haven. I think study will be picked up uh, by any of the two green players. So one of the other cards should make it wait way to me. And ideally, it would be Haven. Or Decorators, because now it's six months. Uh, so here I do get my Saving Grace ship owners. Um, that's the stuff that you generally would want in a setup like this. You are very, like, in a, with Alexandria, with the resource that you are required to pick up with both of these stages, uh, you are very, very well equipped to, to play for ship owners. In um in four player we will have six guilds so ship owners will be there 60 percent of the time for you um that's not a lot but but it's something that you can play for and here as you can see it's pretty massive it's an eight pointer so so that's amazing with a potential to grow but not really uh, so here it's between Arena and the Senate. I think I chose the Senate just because it's better. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Arena is actually better because I do expect... Um, but I'm not playing it. So I, I think it's very close. But I, I think Senate is a little better. So as you can see, he is preparing for red. Here, uh, we knew we didn't have the pick, but we can hide the lighthouse. Um, we do not see what they picked, uh, but I expect him still to, to pick study from, from that hand. So I should uh, come back with a haven or, or something playable. And there is a haven for me, so, so that's nice. We have four, uh, so we are winning red against this guy. And let's look at the final scoring and, and what how it went. So we are on 58. Uh, Colossus was second with, with that lineup. He did have a good uh, marketplace into Caravanserai combo, so, so that was nice. And also his West Trading post here um, paid off, so, so that was nice, I guess. Uh, he was on five resource cards. We were on seven. Uh, so we generally outscored him hard. Uh, he also went with similar strategy of playing for four military. Uh, in the end... Um, this Babylon strat usually doesn't work from, from what I've seen so so hard, but sometimes you can even with, win with it if you are uh, better prepared. But here it, it went like this. Uh, in the end, I was very happy with this game. This was the game that let me push to 17-25 uh, in the arena, so that was the highest that I've gotten this season. And I was very happy with to do it with um, Alexandria. Uh, generally, it's it's hard to, to win with Alexandria. I'm not, not not going to tell you, do this and you will win. No, it's hard. Every game is a struggle, but you can do some things to maximize it. And I would say, first, remember that green is extremely risky. If anybody else goes green, usually you'll be last. That's that's where my most of the losses are fired. If you like play really well and they make some mistakes, you will be fired. But third, in four players, that's not great. And second thing is... Um, Play for red. Be careful of the guilds because you are like one of the best uh, wonders to play for guilds. Usually they have a very awkward um, costs and you can build them just because of your two stages. So that would be my advice. Hopefully you guys can take something from it. Let me know what you think and see you later. Bye.